is you're going to score the wheel and you're going to try and cut through as much of the rind as you can and the reason is is the thicker the rind you have less the more difficult it's going to be to pop it but what you have to do is actually score it all the way around and it really helps if you can score it along the same line all the way around or you've got a real mess the ideal cracking is going to be a very um, kind of smooth facing instead of just craggy because you're not going to get a nice smooth process in here because you're actually cracking it as opposed to cutting it. You can do this if you want to cheat and not use the ceremony with what they call a cheese wire. And a cheese wire has two handles. And what you actually do with this, it works kind of like a garrote. You know what a garrote is? But what you'll do is you'll, you'll put one of these handles under here, run it totally under the cheese, and it's only two of these, not four, I just don't want to untangle it. And it'll, it'll, the top part will be here. Then you get a really strong person to hold it, and then you start pulling it across. And it'll actually, if the cheese is warm, this one's been sitting out three days just to get warm enough. It'll cut right through there, and it'll give you what I call a fake cut, meaning it's one that you cheated on and didn't give it the official uh, special presentation. Okay. So now what we're going to do is see how good of a job I did here. You actually go through and you want to score this. This one I have scored almost all the way through the rind. And then I have to also go down through the sides again and make sure that I'm uh, lining up and going through the same creases that I did before. And then the real thick part of the rind is going to be right there on the corners. So we'll see how good I did here. Now what we're going to do is you actually have to create the gaps because what you're doing is you're going to pop it this way, okay? So you're going to come in on the corners and you're going to dig those in. I think this one's going to pop pretty easy. Then you're going to put the other one in this side. Okay. Then since I have a couple of extra ones for a nice change, I'm going to bring them in here. And I'm going to take this one and start working on popping it. Now, as you can see with this knife, we're actually slicing through part of the cheese, and you'll see a, a better cut on this side than on the other side, because the other side, there's nothing that's actually going to be cutting through. So as a result, the top will probably be a little smoother look than the bottom one. You can see how the crack is getting wider as I work my way around there. And you know, it always takes longer and more difficult when you've got people watching you. Isn't that the way it works? Okay. So if you want to fall asleep, that's okay. Just don't yawn, okay? Can be. Should be getting close. We are getting close. Go ahead and ask any questions that you might might have along the way, like how old I am, if my wife is here. You know, do I really sweat this much all the time? Uh, do I really lie when I'm selling cheese up at the uh, at the stand, or if I really know what I'm talking about? Did I always do cheese? No, I did something that paid no money before. Do I make any money here? Not near as much as I'd like. Let's see. That manager's not here. Say that again. Okay, I think we're just about ready to crack this puppy. We're getting there, real close now. Sing another song, yeah, it'll soften up by then. Yeah. Now, get a whiff. Okay. In the next couple of minutes, this thing will just start making your mouth water. You're gonna cry because it's so good. You're gonna say, oh. Okay. Now I'm gonna crack the, crack another quarter, but not right now. I'm gonna move it aside if you'll move here. Oh yeah. So that I have some place to work. 
Yeah, no, I, I feel like the galloping gourmet. Who remembers you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're all old. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to start making some samples for you. Do not attack me in the process. I feel like I feel like I'm the bread in a McDonald's parking lot that you've thrown out the car window. Oh my. <laughs> 